Good afternoon, folks. I'm the voice of Dog. With me is Dectalon. Hello. Hello. Sana, thank you for that raid. You're just in time. We are starting Dark Souls 3. Oh, okay. Andrew, thank you. Name your dude till time re embark the third. This guy is going to be named Diego Vila because he is the conquistador rebirthed. My apologies. Cinematic effects. Oh, the my run of uh conquistador. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. It it, it was, seems like it had an impact, so I should probably go. It was tragic. <laughs> That's that's fine. Like when it's still be impactful and good. The lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. Uh huh. Gray, desolate, ornate. Yeah, this is Dark Souls. Indeed. Confirmed. It's even more ornate than before, though. Nice. Also, the opening cinematic here is, uh... It's not quite uh, as uh, descriptive, so to speak, as the one in Dark Souls 1, but I do still like it more than the one in 2, which is... Very right. This opening kind of sets the scene a bit better. I thought you get some things you can look out for as you play through it. Like this guy. Like this guy. Holdridge. Ah, goo. Indeed. Undead Legion, the Abyss Watchers. And the reclusive Lord of the Profaned Capital. Yon the Giant. What happened to your face? Well. It burned off, maybe. Only in truth. The lords will abandon their thrones. Kindled will rise. Nameless, accursed, undead, unfit even to be cinder. And so it is that ash. Always with the embers. A little bit. It kind of... When they talk in Dark Souls, <laughs> it tends to go yes. in one ear and out the other for me. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I can... If you want, I can... Um, shed some light on those last few sentences, at least. Diego Vila. He's mature. He's seen some shit. <laughs> so, the idea being that, um... Oh, there's a, a pyromancer few... class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well, pyromancy is... It, it is a bit different. It's not like in one. Not surprisingly. Uh, but, it, but it's there. Uh, Hunter, we got Dectalon in call. Yeah, like... Ah, so... wielding of dual scimitars. This is probably what I want to start with, huh? Yeah. 
Okay. I'm just going to take a look at these. Heavy Battle Axe. Restorative Miracles with a Spear. Dagger and Bow. Thrusting Swords. Sorceries as well. Interesting. Yeah. It's cool that they got a Pyromancer class. I appreciate that. Also, I, I do like this cleric class that starts with that just starts with a mace. It's not as busted as in two. But, That's a shame. Uh, you know, you can pick anyone. Yeah, I'm gonna go mercenary because that's usually what I like to do. Yeah. Burial gift. Good starting. Uh, and unlike Dark Souls uh, one and two, there is no like best item. Okay. At least not like a an obviously best item. Upgrade fire weapons. Used to acquire many souls, so that would give me a head start on experience. Yep. Greatly increases item discovery for a short while, so that must be a consumable. Yep. But it's a very powerful <clears throat> I see. Uh, gold coins you don't get until fairly late in the game. So, uh, rustic gold coin can let you get like armor pieces from drops. I see. Very consistently, stuff like that. Um. And there are a lot of drops in this game. That is a, a thing they also sort of brought back after two, where you picked up most. I'm weapons thinking. And, and items off the ground. I'm thinking life ring just because sure that will you know keep me from raising vigor a little early on yeah. yeah but it seems like these are all things I'll find on the journey in some yeah. form or yeah. another all of this I think you can find in other places face Wow. Tired. Tired, tiny eyes. Ah. And the Rithelians are nerds, apparently. I see. <laughs> they, they don't get much sun. Oh, God. Diego is built. His face may be unfortunate, though. Yeah. It's kind of also like, even when your character is built in this game, they still look kind of unhealthy. Everybody looks very unhealthy. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, I, uh, I... I generally stay away from this just because... It's laggy? <laughs> it is, weird. Mm. I just want to make his nose very large, so he's very distinctive. Oh god. Mm. <laughs> Maybe too much. It's Maybe too a much. a lethal weapon at this point. At this point, I a... can spec into nose. Yeah. Just go ham on people like a, a woodpecker. You stab them to death. Lips. Huge. Happy. Yeah, just get a little smirk going there. Yeah, perfect. Oh. Lip fullness. Full pouty lips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Oh my. No, don't discard that. Yes. In input. Yes. Fantastic. Uh, eyes. Can we make his eyes be gigantic? Oh boy. That's pretty anime. <laughs> I was just about to say. Hell yeah. That's the Diego I know. 
is it? No. <laughs> 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 Lower jaw. It's like he's bloated up since he died, and now he looks <clears throat> like an anime. I mean, Diego Vila in in uh, Final Fantasy XIV is very handsome, he's, he, but he's a Lala Fell. Yeah, he's sort of a... So he's just adorable. Adorable conquistador. Tiny conquistador. Diego More Vila. of an idea than a person. Yes. Pupils. Oh. Neat. Oh, good. I can change. I can. It's got a false eye. That's actually a kind of look. Yeah, it's not bad. Tone around eyes. Eyeliner. Eyeliner or rot. Whichever. One I, I rot, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know if he needs lipstick. There you go, just a bit of contrast. These things have to be subtle, you know. I know a lot about makeup and how you're supposed to wear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and on top of that, we're going to see this face a lot. Yeah. Uh, obviously. Um. As soon as you get one helmet, it's gone. I know. I know. <laughs> the tragedy of... No, I mean, I guess... You know, you play a Dark Souls game enough. Most people end up running around in underpants anyway. Uh, anyhow. Mm hmm. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> let me let me change the color of that. I've been slapped by someone with a very. Extremely fucked up hand. I just, want some, I just want it to be like slightly darker than his skin. Hmm. Yeah, we're an Askian. Tell me about the lamp. It's not even that bad. No, it's not terrible. Save the favorites. <laughs> body hair. Diego doesn't have body hair. What about his hair? Can I change his hair? You should be able to, yes. Where is hair under? Uh, his face. I think there's like two menus. There's one for whole body and another one oh, for Oh, face detail. Face. Yeah. yeah. Hair. Here we go. Also, your hair will look very different in game. Of course. There we go. Pretty ordinary hair. <clears throat> uh, Juker, that's his that's his ceremonial face tattoo. Please don't make fun of that. <laughs> it's it's part of his culture. Finalize.
what that culture is, we leave unsaid. Diego culture. Diego culture. So yes, uh, if you didn't catch it in the the opening, um, the fire is threatened and the bell tolls, just like normal. Okay. But um, what they do, because they've they've done the linking of the fire so many times, um, they need some old fire linkers or lords of cinder as they call them here mm -hmm. uh, to return also yeah you can charge attacks now it's really cool um, you can charge your heavy attack yeah. it's not super useful all the time but it's fun okay um, they need some Lords of Cinder to return to the Firelink Shrine so they can, you know, set them on fire and restart the, the, the fire whole cycle that way. again. But the Lords of Cinder, they don't wanna. So they left. And what happened then is that a bunch of failed Lords, you know, players essentially that gave up at some point. Uh. They rise from their graves to go fetch the Lords of Cinder and bring them home. I see. And you are you are one of those. Okay. Ashen one is what they call them. They they couldn't burn properly. Okay, there's my there's my job. Ah, wait. Yep. Um, you, there is mana now, like in Demon Souls. Oh, is that what that green bar is? No, is that the what blue that blue bar. bar is? Yeah. But it's not just mages that use that bar now. Everybody uses that bar? Yep. Thought there was a shiny over there. Uh, weapons have weapon arts now that use mana. Oh. Uh, I don't know what the input would be for for you to play on a control, but uh, I assume one of these tutorial messages will tell you. There you go. Used right weapon skills. While two-handing. Ah. Uh, well, it, you know... I guess it really depends on how you're holding stuff and whatever. Oh. There you go. Now you have the... Uh, this is the weapon I was talking about, by the way. You start with it. Oh, that's a little slow. Hold one bumper or whatever down, and then use an attack, and you will do a special that move right there, where you spun around. Yeah. And you can keep hitting the attack button, and you will keep spinning. Maybe it's hold the button. I don't remember. It's one of the two. Okay. You you should be able to keep spinning at least when you do that thing. An item. That's pretty quick. Yeah. It's one of the things I don't really like about this game. What? That you, the, it's too easy? Well, no. Not, not specifically that. But it's that Estus is so fast to use that if you end up fighting another player, it is almost impossible to kill them. Ah. Like, you can't chase them down. Works for me. Or... <laughs> well, I ain't gonna no, be no, invading no. anybody. You will find that people who invade you know how to stop you from running away, but oh. you don't. So they can heal, and you can't, and it's just very irritating. 
it is a big advantage for people who know how to PvP, mm. basically. No. How'd you die? What? Well, you might find out soon. Hmm. This guy looks tough. I'm gonna run for it. <laughs> nah, you can take him. I can take him, probably. I want to see what else is in this area. Alright, sure. I, I don't want to die yet. I just started, I can't die. Th th that would be so embarrassing to die in a Souls game. You, you gotta yeah, understand. Right. You know that everyone in the Souls community beats each Souls game on their first try and never died once? Mm-hmm. Oh, good. And they'll tell you. They'll be right here, and they'll tell you all about it. Okay, now we can go. Got a rest gesture there? A, a rest gesture? Oh. Jesus. Time. You'll also find that enemies in general are a lot better at getting you in this game than in previous ones. They can lunge at you from really far away and run at you very fast. Also, Those guys aren't dying in one hit. <laughs> also very commonly, uh, enemies can have very long attack strings. Uh, compared to previous games, at least. But you are also a, a lot more mobile uh, than in. It's just more of an action y action game in that sense, I suppose. I like that. I like more mobility, tech, uh, generally. Oh, that guy's got a spear, doesn't he? I have trouble with spears. Yeah, but you can just hammer that guy down, I think. Uh, you also have the kickback. Whoa. Oh, but not with this weapon. Not, nah, okay. But you can just chop him to pieces, I think. I think his shield is okay. Uh, you can just go ham on him. And he'll die. Oh. Roll away. Held it for too long. Yeah, the, the charge attack is. That's gonna take some getting used to. So it looks like I can't level up just yet. Nah, that's per usual. Okay. Takes a little bit. It's fine. Not like I have a lot to spend. Yeah. Alright, let's refill Estus. Assuming I can find my way back up the hill. Yeah. <laughs> you brought that guy with you. Good. It's going for a ride. Also a thing that they brought back from Dark Souls 1 is that you can play football with the corpse that's again. Is it still Havoc Physics? I don't know. I, I 
I never pay attention or even know what exactly how the physics uh, entail. Other than the name. I feel like it's got a certain ragdollish quality to it that is... Right. Distinct. Then... I'm gonna guess yes. It does have that same sort of... They just become weightless and just fly everywhere when when they die. Okay, let's take a look at this lizard. Oh, I missed this. Yeah, there, there is an item here and, and there. Uh, okay. In the, uh, red yard. Oh, wait, this wasn't the turn back zone. No, that was uh, closer to the end of the area. It over here? I think so. Jeevil, thank you. Thanks for that sub. This past month went by pretty quickly in terms of this specific subscription. Time is not real. Alright. Have you played Bloodborne? Nope. I would have to wait till it goes on PC. They, uh, they brought over a, uh, well, a few mechanics, I guess, but, uh, in this instance, a specific one for large monsters. But if you hit a large monster, or enough, they will stagger. And when they're staggering, you can do... Backstab, but in the front. So, let's just keep it up. Oh, was that what that was? Yep. That was what I was going Roll feels pretty smooth. I like it. It is pretty smooth. That's it. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ow. It is, seems like you'll... No! Go ahead, jump. But, as you perhaps noticed so far, uh, oh. your, your movement is very smooth, um, but enemies can also jump from very far away and you know, turn around on, on a dime. Oh, and... uh, ooh, magic pixel. Still alive. So you will you will need that agility to stay alive. Yeah. <laughs> Check out that loser behind you who died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First try. I have played a Souls before. Now you have a decent amount of cash monies. Yes, I do, actually. Thank you for those bits, Nihan. Much appreciated. Uh, that leads over here. Watch, there's just like two more of them. <laughs> just yeah, immediately. No, this, this is just a, a. Oh no! This is just a little thing for him to hang out in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is just, um, you know, one of those. Hey, you think you're good? Nice. Scholar had that everywhere. Yeah. Scholar did that like. Uh, immediately. Ow. Watch now I die to this dude. I I guess 
you did you fight the uh, the ogre in the starting area? Maybe. Yeah, yeah I think I did. Because I guess that ogre is basically that lizard. They fill the same sort of function where you can get a, a rare item really early on. But you can also just say fuck it and walk past them. Okay, that gate. That's where I'm heading next. Keep forgetting they take more than one hit. Yeah. Sure. The weapons are more of the overwhelming style than the killing one hit kind of style. I think they cause bleed though. I could be wrong. Somebody behind me isn't there. Yeah. There is an oh. item, too, that you can get. An item here? Yeah, you have to go to the top. I'm guessing this is forward progress. Yes. So if I run around these hills, I should be able to get to the top of the area? Yeah, here, and then there's a jump here you can do, and there's an item. See, see it down there to the, to the left? Ah. Yeah. Um. Well, that was weird. Uh, yeah, it's stuck in a rock, I guess. I'll try it again. By the way, if you hear a sound like doom when you hit an enemy, was that a that parry? Means, uh, well, when you just hit them. Oh, like when I was hitting the uh, the lizard and he staggered. Uh, well. That, but you hit the guy. There was a guy down there that you just hit, and it made the dwarm noise. Um, even though, like, he, you know, both of you just kept going. Mm -hmm. The that that sound it can signal for a uh, stagger or a parry, but it can also signal counter hit. I see. Is, if you hit an enemy in their startup animation, they do do extra damage. What if I just run off of it? Was that enough, or do I need to jump? Nah, you you do need to jump, but you jump later than you think. Okay. Okay. This is also hurting me. <laughs> Whatever. Eh, it's good. <clears throat> I'm gonna need to know how to do these jumps. It'll, it'll be nice. It'll be nice to be able to just to get stuff. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> ah, god damn it. <laughs> we'll get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get there. Welcome to Dark Souls. Someday. There's a lot of little platforming shit in DS2. Yeah. Uh, nothing you had to do, but uh, a lot of items locked behind it. Okay. Titanite shard. Yeah. Gonna need them. But now, you are about to be introduced to sort of the uh, defining feature of Dark Souls 3, I would say. Oh. Goo. Also, there is goo. Alright, let's go. Udix Gunder. Ow. Ow. He's got the reach. Yeah, he's got reach. Oh, wow. That's a lot of... A lot of circular reach, too. 
Yes. Because you're so mobile, there's gonna be a lot of that in this game. And it's, uh, uh, it's hard to completely avoid their swings. You really have to know which direction to go in. They know at this point that players are very good at evading stuff. Huh? Not what I was expecting. Alright. So, I would say that the defining feature of Dark Souls 3 over all the other games is that the bosses are impressive. Hmm. They are pretty much to the one really cool. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty good. Ow. Even the tutorial boss is like, no, actually I have two faces. I know that our, uh... It was, uh... What one would call a rude awakening if this is your first soul spin and this tutorial boss is uh, pretty tough. Well, let's hope I can keep my souls. Yeah, that, that shouldn't That's be That's way over there. He's not very fast. Shit, where are we? Also, you can carry him. A little bit tricky to do, but it's impossible. Hmm. I need to stay closer to him. He doesn't try and punish me when I ask this, though. Something you will notice uh, in this game in particular is that uh, they realize that if they make a boss's movement very quick, it almost doesn't matter how fast they are because the players will evade attacks very easily or just do brawls in the same time and over and over. So you will find a lot of enemies that delay the attack. Not too bad. It was definitely easier to stay close to him than just sit around and take the take the, the hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Dark Souls uh, classic, the sort of most basic boss pattern move to learn is the less afraid you are of the boss, uh, you know, the the easier a time you will have probably. Hey, thank you for the bits, Sneak Uh, you know, let me just check and see where my chat is on screen. Oh yeah, it could afford to go up a little bit, so it's not over the items. There! Okay. Yes. There we go. And now you're on fire! Yeah, Dude. why am I on fire? Is that good? Or does yeah. that mean I'm on fire? Usually when I'm on fire, it means I'm on fire. 
Now that is basically <clears throat> the same as being human. Okay. In this game. Um, am I wearing the ring? I am. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure I was wearing the ring. Oh, I'm kindled. Okay. Yeah. So you are a a piece of ash, they, as they say. You are a, a failed attempt at blinking the fire, and so as a being, you really, really want fire. Mm -hmm. And being embered is basically having a little bit of fire inside you that feels really good. Or an ashen one that makes them strong. Don't give up, skeleton. Okay, we got down. Okay, down goes to an item. That guy cannot, is not letting me target him. Too depressed to be targeted. Okay, good. I need a collection of those eventually. Yeah. Always never never bad to have some bones. Ow. That was so yes. cool I had to stop to think about that. <laughs> The spinning hitboxes apply to you as well. Uh, you hitting people that are honestly entirely behind you. Right. In that instance. Yeah, those guys were to my sides, and I just spun around and hit them. Yeah. So at least it's even in that regard. <laughs> ah! Is that good? Yeah, that's uh, humanity, basically. Oh, okay. Or uh, <clears throat> a um, human effigy. Yeah. When you're embered, uh, unlike in uh, most of the other Souls games, it's sort of opposite here, in that when you are embered, you have a bit more health. Max mm -hmm. health. Um, but... Uh, dying doesn't reduce uh, your... It, it's not like in 2 where dying reduces anything. Uh, when you die several times, it's you're either embered or you're not. I see. Hi. Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. But I am kindled. I'm a firekeeper. I tend to the flame. And tend to thee. The lords have left their thrones and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. Yes. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Uh. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Ping. Okay, so let's see how many levels we got in us. Seven. So, uh, probably gonna go dexterity. Mm -hmm. Vitality is how much you armor and stuff you can use. Mm -hmm. Endurance is uh, stamina. They poke some other stats as well, as per usual. Luck is item discovery. <clears throat> Alright, I'll do it like a spread for now, because I don't have anything I'm really aiming for at the moment. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ashen one, to be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. I will show thee how. Ashen one, bring me souls plucked from their vessels. Okay. Farewell, Ashen. Embed the coiled sword. Okay, seems like a good idea. Yep. I may recognize these. Burn undead bone shard. Yep. It's like uh, bone dust in Dark Souls 2. Oh, is that for leveling up Estus? Yeah. But I don't have any. Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. Can you have conniptions when you're dead? The lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we are talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. Eh, give me 20 hours or so. Don't exactly. You think? <laughs> what a sick joke. Though I, I do appreciate the idea the that all these disparate um, people that uh, link the fire legends. have their own <laughs> stories to them. Mm hmm separate from the story that we the players experience. I feel like this game is it is very easy to get really high damage output. But the game also ramps up damage without you know more so than in uh, the previous two games so mm -hmm. if you don't increase vitality at all then at some point things will start one-shotting you hi hey it's a giant tree they're here as well I forget, what does the seed of the giant tree do again? They cause enemies to fight invaders. Oh, okay. Pretty cool. Here? Yeah, there is a trick you can do here. Uh, you can run up this tree, turn to the right and jump, and you can make it onto the roof. Ow. And well, a... here's the next hour. <laughs> Should I read, uh... Ah, oh, goddammit. Ah! The, the book is. What, the one I read in the Lisa LP? Yeah. Uh, it's Apathy and other small victories. Right. Okay, I'm not really getting the running up the tree part. I should work with that first. Let's see where I can actually step onto the tree. Do you, or do you, have, do you have to run up the tree? Yes. Uh, you have to run up the tree so you're on level with the roof. And then you jump to the right so you can land on it. You just had a, a hard turn once you get up the tree. Yeah, you can't just jump, unfortunately. So this waist-high wall, this is the bane of, of our existence. Is there another way to get there? Later, yes. Mm. But this is just if you want to get up there early. Yeah, 
there, there is a, a, a Estus shard in it for you. Oh, yeah, that would be good to get early on, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm not good at these little glitch techs. No, not me either. Uh, it usually takes me like 15 tries or something to do, even though I know how to do it technically. You can just save it for later. I might. You won't miss too much. Be there later. Yeah. Eventually. Oh, still a ring, yes. It's true. And some other stuff. Locked. Something else that you may have noticed that they said in the intro, by the way, is that this is Lothric, where the lands of the world converge. I thought that was the name of the king. Uh, no, th this is uh, the kingdom of Lothric. I see. And this is where I came from, right? Yes. By converge, they do mean literally converge. Like, the world is... shifting together into one big... In intertangled mess. Which is why there is a giant tree here, even though they don't really belong here. Yeah, I was gonna say, are like the giants a thing here too? Oh, blacksmith. And you will notice that the world is looking very strange because things are sliding well, around. A new color right. I see. I am and Andre, it is because the world I is serve at this shrine as a humble smith. The fire has weapons. been kindled so many times that it can't take much more. Toilsome journey, I wager. You require good arms. Yeah, I was gonna say. Let me smith you weapons. This is a, a guy from a previous game, but which one? My purpose. From one. Okay. He is the blacksmith in Dark Souls 1. He is in Undead Parish. Uh, okay, I need a. Uh... I need more Titanite. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the game has a lot of fan service. Uh, not the, not the, uh, the tips kind, but uh, just that a lot of things return from the previous two games, mostly from Dark Souls 1, just because, you know, they want to really make sure that this is the last one. We're not making. <laughs> We're not episodes. doing any more. Leave us alone. Yeah. I can't, okay. So I've got. <laughs> For now, I think you can just put all your Estus into healing Estus. Honestly. Okay. Because. No Estus shards. Yeah. Weapons and protect. But when over, when their durability is, use a powder. But should chance ah, resting at a bonfire repairs things. I'll hammer yes. back into Is that new? No pleasure it's from Dark Souls so 2. Handle them with care. Okay. Pretty be careful. I don't want... However, I... unlike Dark Souls 2, items have Dark Souls 1 durability. So if something actually breaks for you, I don't know what you've been doing, honestly. A pleasure to you make must be in the field for a really long time <laughs> for for something actually breaks. A humble hand they could have just taken it out and nobody would have noticed. Weapons, mm. armor, trinkets, and spells. Ah. I've lots of little things to. And yes, I'm under. I feel too, like, but not so charitable. It was fine the way it was in away. two because there. Ashen it came into play, soul. but it was also Nintendo. as long as you kept. An eye on it. As is I want. Repairing was also free. Because <laughs> as soon as you got to a bonfire, it, it happened. But they, they could also use like weapons with durability as ammo and things like that, so thought that was the best balance they've had. 
the uh, uh, frame rate bug, notwithstanding, of course. Uh, a torch would be nice, actually. I would recommend getting that. Okay. I can afford that. Yep. And it is not like in, in Dark Souls 2. It's just... It is an item. You can use it forever. 20,000 for a tower key. Okay. Noted. Oh, I can sell. Yes. <clears throat> Soul items sell for what they would uh, give you if you just squeeze them. So that can be a little bit faster, maybe. Okay. Passion one, be sure. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. Do I need to equip the torch? Yes, it's an, a weapon, basically. Does it run out? Nope. Okay. I still don't have a ranged weapon, but do I need? Do you think I'll need one? Nope. <laughs> I've never played ranged the ranged game in a Dark Souls. I Kind of because yeah. I hate the controls for it. Yeah, it's not great, but I think it's is better in this game. Yeah, a bit. I would I would hope they've improved that a little bit. Okay, but let's... it's still like why why would you use it if you can just run in there and, and have fun instead? Right. Yeah, I just have more fun fighting things with swords. So yeah, it's this was not... the chair that said Holy King Lothric. Yep. Yeah, it, it is also the name of a person, that is true. But the, the kingdom is called Lothric. That just seems like a big hole. Oh, wait. Nah, it's, it, there are no bottomless pits in here. I was very confused by Firelink Shrine when I, I first got here. There's a lot of paths that all seem to go to the same place. This also goes down to the... <laughs> yeah, it's just a rotunda. It's, it's just a rotunda, basically. Um, there is some more stuff you can find if you go outside again. But if you want to go forward... It's this way? You go to the bonfire. If you want to proceed, go to the next area. Travel. Oh. Oh, I see. Yep. That took me, the first time I played, took me a while to realize. I see. There's still stuff outside, but where do I go for that? Um, you go out to where you came in from Yudhuk-Skandir, you know? That's that up direction. here. And then you head to the right. And there is some more stuff. Specular highlights off these rocks keep looking like shinies to me. Yeah, there was an item right there too that you. There was. See. Yeah. Behind you, right now. Oh, that highlight. Yeah. Shinies are kind of hard to see, at least. Yeah. At least in this gray area where it's. Yes. You know. I agree. I was working on a thumbnail for, for YouTube, and uh, 
I was saying how the the uh, the title or the the box art, whatever, it, it had this like piss yellow thing to it, and I was just so not into it. I ended up hue shifting it to like more orange red. Yeah, it is. It is an odd color choice. It doesn't really feel thematic with anything in the game. Okay, here is the real thing I wanted you to find. This guy? Yeah. Hmm. Oh shit. Jesus. Ha! <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, sure. So, uh, NPC dude enemies. A lot tougher in this game than in previous ones. Yeah. Uh, in that they can actually do stuff. And not just have lots of health. <clears throat> That's gonna take a bit of effort, huh? Well, let's do yeah. it. You can parry him, of course, if you want to try that. Uh, uh. So, like, you mean with a shield, or...? Yeah, with a shield. I haven't... I didn't... I never did the parrying. It's, it's a bit easier in this game than in Dark Souls 2, I would say. Wait. Yeah, it's loading the Oh, it's area. loading, I see. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Alright, I will be right back. Okay. Luck. Oh, wait. Let me get these guys behind me. Please don't. Parrying tutorial. I'm not very good at parrying. Got one. Is the repost just attack after you get the parry? Like, yeah, I didn't get the, uh, I didn't get the thing fast enough. Alright, let's get you guys. He does a ton of damage, doesn't he? Oh, that first attack must have hit me. Yep. I got one parry in there, but I didn't get the repost. Ah, right. Oh, it, it ended kind of after that Marshall fight, actually. It was pretty good. And a 
according to fighting game rules, uh, you can't hit people when they're down. Mm -hmm. or, I guess it's more attacking rules because you can hit them with certain attacks. Like jumping and slam down on the ground attacks you can hit them sometimes. Alright, there's two. Why does my targeting well. go down? Uh, it's because you lose targeting when they fall over like that. Oh boy, he's got elevation. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. That so sucks. It's very hard. Okay, two parries, almost gets him. This guy's harder than the boss I just fought. <laughs> <laughs> He is a guy that is just called Swordmaster, I think, something like that. Oh, out of chime. I won't be using that. Yay! <laughs> a piece of trash! But there it is. More like four parries, actually. Yeah. Doing well with the parries, though. Yeah. Shit. Can I not parry that? Um, I think you can. I think you just barely missed it. Just did it barely. Nah. Oh no! <laughs> Noted. Does he drop that sword? Yes. Does he always drop that sword? Yes. Good. I want that sword. Alright. It is a good sword. It's the, the old Uchi Uchi. Oh, it's the Uchi Katana? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I used my very first run, but that ended, uh... That ended, like, at Ornstein and Smo, I think. Ah. And then the second run was the Black Knight Sword, which was a lot more successful. It is more obviously powerful. Also, you, you can uh, stun enemies, of course, by hitting them a bunch, but uh, if uh, they swing the same time as you, uh, there's, like a that. That, <laughs> yeah, there's a chance that, yeah, there's a chance that, like, if you don't counter hit them, there is a chance that uh, their uh, voice will be able to absorb the hit. Unless you're using a very heavy weapon. Mm hmm No, I'm I'm not I'm, using I'm, a very heavy weapon. I'm in it to win it right now. I gotta beat this guy. We can't move on until I get that sword. <laughs> Wish this would load a bit faster. Yeah, th this is the one irritating thing. It doesn't that that thing by the way doesn't happen anywhere else. Oh really? Yeah. Just waiting for a loading thing only happens specifically for this. Weird. Yeah. Guess the Damn it. <laughs> there is a reason for it, but Yeah. You won't find out what that is for a while. I feel like, am I going too early or too late? I don't remember. It's been too long. 
I'm... I mean, you had it. Before. I had it earlier, but, you know, if the timing is that tight, I'm without... Unless I see a meter, you know, like like a DDR, like, quick time thing come up, you know, specifically colored for what beat, for what type of beat it is, you know, <laughs> I won't know exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. In Dark Souls 1, it was a bit easier in that you just knew that you could parry, like, when the opponent's sword is entering your body, pretty much. You can mm -hmm. parry. In this game, I think you have to do it a little bit before that. Ah! <laughs> uh, fuck. So, he mixed up his thing there. Yeah, using a heavy attack. That was a heavy attack. His attacks are so fast. I wonder how much, uh, I wonder how much, uh, agility I need, or whatever, dexterity I need to wield that. I think it's like 16 or something. I've got that. Yeah. 18, all right. I think we have that as well. I think you you upped to like twenty or something. Ow. I don't like fighting in this area though. <laughs> it's really tight. It's kind of scary. They've given him so much health that fighting him without parrying seems like a fool's game, so I've got to get this timing down. If you can figure out sort of when to start attacking, you can also go ham on him and stun him. I noticed that and then a little bit. Back away. I mean, I could try using the shield actually and just absorb a hit. Since Lotion, thank you for that sub. Welcome. I hope I, I said that. that right. But I will say your shield is kind of sucks ass. It yeah, I imagine. Shield. It's the one that a gave me of, at the beginning. A lot of damage will slip through and people will Hey, I'm getting 40 souls every time I do this, so. Yay! We're rich. Is East West Shield better? I don't think so. Yeah, he backs, he backs up as well. But if you can bait his uh, big uh, weapon art and then run in and get at him with the, the two swords, you can cut him up for a while and then back away when you're low on stamina. But you can do that a few times. That's what I usually do. Once he gets me once, I can't get out of there. It, like, breaks my poise. Oh, no uh, problem, Sins. So Glad you enjoy the content. That's what it's there for. Hey. I like how it's there until it's not, and I can just walk through it. And just all of a sudden, oh, you're ready now, okay. Oh yeah, would I be better off with the east-west shield, do you think? Uh, I think it, it's it's a worse shield, but... Um, chat guy here, Drakio Doe. Parries a little uh, faster. It says the parries a little faster, so yeah, it's many. I'm not usually a shield guy, or at least I wasn't really in one. I was until Dark Souls. He hit me there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you can still get hit even as you parry sometimes, depending on your timing. 
He hit me there. <laughs> I'm gonna keep keep drinking. Whoa. Look out. That was his parry, by the way. Hmm. Yay! I just cut him off. Nope. Failed. No. <laughs> All right. I think that was almost repeatable. <laughs> Diego can do this. Diego is used to tanking damage, okay? Way too late. Sword. It's a master of swords. Yeah, this guy is quite good. Not now. He's <laughs> <laughs> getting so many sticks. Ah, God. There's such a delay on that. Uh, he, he also delayed it additionally. Right there. He used the charged version of the heavy attack, not just heavy. Oh man, you're really making me nervous here. Yeah, he's waiting to parry your attack, so you can... If you swing in front of his face, he'll do something. <laughs> Three damage. <laughs> that, was, that was clown shoes as hell. That was so stupid. That's gonna happen. Dark Souls 3, definitely a game where clown shoes occur. I was trying to, uh... I was trying to, uh, do a plunging attack, and I think I hit him, but it did, like, no damage. Yeah, you didn't actually hit with the, the plunging attack, you just stepped on his head. Oh, really? That can, You can Mario him and that causes damage? Yep. Excellent. I gotta find my souls. Where did I leave them? <laughs> oh, over there. Oh, damn it. Time to spend an Estus on- No, I'm kidding. On the no damage I just took. Come on. No. Yay. <laughs> uh, you regain it by resting. I love how great I was doing with with deaths in this game, and then just you introduce me like the to the first real fucking thing. Yep. And now it's like now I've got like a dozen deaths, or probably more at this point. Yeah, that sounds about right. Most of your deaths will come from big boys in this. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily literally big, but like enemies that Whoa. all of a sudden deal more damage than everyone around them, or have, or are very aggressive. A 
There's one. Let's not turn our back on him while we drink Estus. Eh. It's fine. Something you also learn from the like, last game a lot. Damn it. You can get away with. And turning your back on your opponent and drinking in certain instances is uh, definitely one of those things that uh, you get a feeling for, like how far away you have to be to yeah. not get backstabbed. Uh, I can't believe I was right fucking there. Yeah, it's too bad. <laughs> yep, this is the final boss. This is the final boss, yeah. No, that, yeah. I, I believe you at this point. Yeah, very short game. Very pretty, though. But yeah, inter in interesting choices they made. Um, wasn't expecting it. <laughs> uh, oh, God. I was just reminded by the, uh, the uh, I think it was Casey Green comic, mm -hmm. where there is a, a games journalist who starts uh, Mario 1, gets killed by the first Goomba, and then like writes an entire article about what missionary game Mario 1 was, for having that ending. There we go. I got it that time. Didn't even get hit this time. No. Yeah. Alright, don't yes, jinx me. Ass. Don't jinx me. I gotta, I gotta close the deal. Gotta There's close the deal. There's one more. There's one more. There's one No. no. <laughs> you gotta close the deal. You gotta close the deal. Oh no, no. But a counter offer. You gotta close the deal. Uh, he's too, he's too powerful in negotiations. It, I do way better when I'm on level ground with him. As soon as we get some sort of like elevation thing, I, it feels weird. Yeah, it, it depends a little bit on on the weapon you use, but who is has the advantage in those situations. I om I almost feel like I should have just taken out my. Uh, Oh yeah, I do got fire bombs. I could try and <laughs> eke out a bit of damage. It probably does nothing to this guy, but uh, I hmm. I will say this: there is a very useful use for fire bombs in the near future that I would personally save them for. Yeah, I'm so close to this. I just gotta, I just gotta do the thing. I was the. I'm still having the. Discord issue. Damn it. God damn it. Try again. Now he wants to parry today. <laughs> yep, I knew it! No. That was a non starter. Death 37! Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Uh, we are currently doing the, um... The final boss. The final boss. No, I was thinking of, uh, you know, the first training area in, in Lisa? Uh, the one where you fall on your face? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, the, what the part where you just that. fall on your face over and over again? Yeah. Definitely. But there is a scroll at the end of it. There is a scroll. It's written in English. It can't be that authentic. No. It does increase the stats. It does increase stats. Where'd I leave my souls this time? Over here. Slowly. Slowly getting there to yeah. A level. No!
Mm. Hey, uh, uh, Dark Souls 2 Knower guy in chat. If you kick him off the platform, do you still get the sword? Probably not. Oh, you do? Damn. Oh, you do. All right. How do I kick him off the platform? Well, you unequip your sword. You equip something else, and then you kick him. Unequip my sword. Yeah, because those swords uh, use... They replace the kick with another thing. There's your kick. Okay. I feel like that was hard to do in uh, Dark Souls 1, but I'm glad to see that they improved that. Yeah. It's especially hard in 2 for me. For some reason, just they fucked up the PC controls too bad. Alright, now you... Come over here. He's quick. You gotta quit and reload and it'll be on his spawn point. Interesting. Well, it's worth trying. If I can connect with him just once, how long, how far does it launch him? Um, a decent bit. But it also staggers him so you can walk up and kick him again. Hmm, okay. Oh, and I can chain that. Alright. We're now in kick tech territory. Willing to try anything to beat this fucker. I know You've I could just come. Far. I know I could just come back later when I've got a, a, a level or two in me. But man, I just want that sword. Also, you were one parry away from. I know <laughs> twice. So it's not like you can't do it. I know. Damn it. Yeah, I, you can do that too, I, I suppose. And try to spam him off RB2. Well, you know, just hit him a lot. We'll push him back when you just hit him normally. Oh, you mean with my swords? Yeah. I'm thinking. I've had more success with this. Yeah. I would not recommend doing that. <laughs> no. All right. New strategy. Strategy number three. But it's worth trying everything, you know? Even if only one of them works, uh, you know... You will have strategies for later enemies. Yeah, like that. Damn it. That was a mixed strategy. <laughs> um, that's going to be a problem because I left those... I mean, it's 1,200 souls. It's not a lot of souls. I'm not going to be sad if I lose my 1,200 souls. Nah. I say, thinking about how sad I'm going to be if I lose those 1,200 souls. This is good practice for the uh, mechanic I never engage with. 
because I always try to dual wield. Yeah, it's nice to have in your cool box. I remember the first time I, I uh, played the uh, Dark Souls 1, I've been playing with uh, super heavy weapons to ending uh, mm -hmm. the entire game. Uh, but against Gwyn, I just couldn't, because I put no points in vi to Vitality, I had like 10. And he killed me in like two hits. Because he stunned me with the first. And I just couldn't get him, and I was getting so mad. Uh, so I had to learn how to parry. Yeah, the final boss, I had to learn how to parry. Then it was super easy, but... It was a mechanic I had not engaged with at all until that point. Take a hit there, though. So. I did. Ha! <laughs> the delay! The mind games! Damn it! I'm gonna put out a disclaimer on this first YouTube video. <laughs> Warning. Make Not a lot of progress guys. made. Not for the reason you think, though. <laughs> video one. We fight the final boss. Dectalon showed me, told me about this guy, and I had to spend the whole video beating him. I blame Dectalon. This is your fault. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's move on. Let's travel. <laughs> That's pretty good, too. <laughs> Same. isn't going well. No, but... Technically, you only need one HP to win. I say as he packs your lights up. This is also pretty unlike me, because normally I'm like, yeah, I'll take a break, and then I'll come back to... No, I want to fucking kill this guy. Oh, you can? I can never parry okay. jump attacks. Okay, good to know. Good to know. So I know enemies in Dark Souls 1 didn't, but you could still parry them. Mm -hmm. Like if enemies did it to you. But I guess they decided that's a good anti... Like, just, you know, as part of the PvP mind game, I guess. So having an unparable, parryable attack. I like that. Okay. No. No. Yes. Okay. I didn't do that because he jumped. I did that because I thought he was going to do the other thing. Yeah. He's fast enough that it's hard to tell what he's going to do. See, this is what I usually do against the guy. I, I avoid his attack, and then I go ham on him for a bit, and then I back off. Because he has no armor, so... Yeah. He will stagger from pretty much anything, as long as he's not swinging... ...like when you start swinging. He 
You's got it. Into it. It very much felt like. I used to wing when you're far away from him and he'll let that parry go. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> no, he <laughs> goes right back to it. This is fucking silly. Oh, well, you can do jump attack. If you can't parry that, then he shouldn't be able to either. Damn it! That went on for too long. <laughs> what can I do with my 1400 souls? That'll totally change the, the tide of this battle. Nothing? Oh, you can, you can buy knives, maybe. Hmm. Those are mainly for finishing people off, but... Well, I could... I... Man, if I get him down to nothing, I'm throwing firebombs at him. Sure. Uh... uh, nah. I think the armor we have right now is... is already alright. It's pretty good. It's not something... you need to upgrade. <laughs> Get your loot boxes out of here. <laughs> No, what I really want to know is when when will loot boxes come to Baba's U? <laughs> That's what I really want to know. Yankee Ice, thank you. I'm in a bear of six six plus etc. Yes, thank you. I'm sorry. Damn it. Just loot boxes with random keywords you can unlock. Oh, I want to cheese this guy so bad, but with what? I I think your pairing strategy was. What? <laughs> uh, if he tried to post a uh, post a link, Nightbot might ding you. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I think your parrying strategy worked the best. I think just, just go for that. Just uh, you'll get that fourth parry, and you'll win, and we can move on. I miss the hitbox days when we can post gifts in chat, but that was like a very nebulous thing. That was yeah, it... that was gonna go down eventually. Yeah. Damn it's it. Also somewhat dependent on not that many people being there. Yes. So, so people were here. Oh, hmm. that's an idea. No, jeez. <laughs> oh, thank you, Admiral. Yeah, mods can post links. I think subs can post links. I, I think I I think I got that. So if I stand on the square with shield and wait for him to lunge, he might fall. I'm willing to give that a shot. Yeah, why not? I'm I'm at that point here. Oh my god. What? Baba is loot. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta rearrange the words. You can do anything in that game. I... yeah. I lost.
liked it. Hey, Sam, but... thank you for gifting that sub to him, Pooley. Ah, that's nice. I'm just... I, I, the puzzles, they're hard. The puzzles <laughs> are extremely <laughs> fucking hard. <laughs> oh, oh, I see it. I see it. Like, damn see, it. There's a, gap, there's a gap between the square and the stairs there. Yeah. So if you stand between there, if he lunges at you, he'll just fall off. That's a classic. How do I know he won't just go right through me? Alright, more left. So not because... on the square, but to the left of the square. Yeah. Because, um... Uh, gravity is king in Dark Souls. It will kill everything. Mm hmm That's the one thing that is... <clears throat> nothing can resist. It's like, uh... What was the Mario game where gravity was like... Oh, Land 1. Land 1, where you just, if you didn't jump and you just walk off a platform, you just get sucked into the abyss. Ah, you could have maybe gotten him there if you started swinging on him. I think you want to have him on the other side. Oh my god, you're going to add 200 more puzzles to Baba? Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know how you do that. How you can just think up so many puzzles. That's insane. That game is incredible, by the way. I, I couldn't get incredibly far into it, but I do appreciate the... Uh, I think the... Uh, I'm sure you saw it, but the uh, the GDQ run this year was absolutely insane. Just seeing, you know, just the guy trying to talk about I, who was who who did it? Was it Punchy? Yeah, it was Punchy. Just stand. Oh no, wrong way. I think you if you just go to the edge of the like the upper uh upper left edge of that uh, that platform right before he comes down the stairs. I think you'll be able to Ooh, maybe you will be okay. No. So much for that. <laughs> Hello guys. Still Still uh, dead? Hang hung over, I see. Oh. <laughs> I'm losing my focus. <laughs> but yeah, if you... Yeah, he says you have to sprint there, so... When you get to the point where you aggro him, if you stand on the, the very sort of left corner, upper left corner there, I think... Uh, I think you'll get him to to jump off. I think I should go back to my original strategy of just trying to win normal. I think or, I was. Or I, do that. I was getting closer with that. Yes. Uh, can I just add that? Uh, uh, I love environmental station alpha. Can't wait for ESA two. Oh yeah. Right, right. There you go. That's the, the strategy I usually go for. Oops, shouldn't have gotten hit by that. Or that. Or that. I clicked the uh, right bumper by accident. Alright, getting back into it. Uh, that was the nice little rest of trying an, ad an additional <laughs> strategy. <laughs> Did 
Do necromantic spells work on robots? Mm, don't think so. I think they gotta be... I think you have to have a soul. Well, we'll see, I guess. But the tiny robot is very mysterious. Oh, he had an organic brain, so... I mean, uh, probably. <laughs> nice spacing. Suck shit. Suck shit and die. Suck shit and die. Yay! Give me your sword! <sighs> <sighs> First try! First try! <laughs> Thank you for the bits. <laughs> I don't think I deserve those bits, but I'll take them nonetheless. No, I think you, I think you do. Oh my god. Deserve them for, for sticking to it. Yeah, I didn't give up. That's what it's all about. So. <sighs> for a my reward. boy. Uh, for a Dexy boy, I think uh, Katana's gonna be real nice. Starting out. Yeah. Yeah, I like the two-handed, but I also like one-handing certain swords. Yeah. Like this. Oh yeah, there is a, a character in here you haven't talked to. Uh, old lady. The... Who did I miss? Uh, he's up by the thrones. He's oh. sitting on one of them. Oh, is that him over there? Yeah, let's go talk to him. Yeah, we'll do that, and then we'll take a quick break, and we'll we'll come back and move forward. Yay! <laughs> well done, you killed me on your first try. <laughs> Thank you, swordsman. All that and good, and good game. GG. I am that little corner. Look not in bewilderment, as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. If substantiation be thy want, set thine eyes upon my child cause. Yeah, you look a little insubstantial there. This sad cadaver. No need to be coy. Have a closer look. Knowest thou of our purpose? Five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. The fast-fading flame must be licked to preserve this world. Thought he said licked. A reenactment of the first linking of the fire. Ah. So it is. I became a lord of sin. It is a old-timey word. I may be in fact. small, but I will die a colossus. Meaning the same thing. No style of five the age I Okay. Alright, thank you. We Alright, let's take a little break. We'll be right back with more Souls 3 and hopefully a little more progress. <laughs> the final boss is defeated. Yeah, what the final boss has been defeated, this? so after that, geez. I don't know where it only can only go up from here. Exactly. It's gonna be super easy from here on out. Quick fluff, quick. 